Welcome back, adventurers, to Let's Play Mist Masterpiece Edition. When last we left off, we had gathered the clues and information we needed from the Stone Ship Journal and the Tower Rotation to finally allow us to gain access to the book that leads to the Stone Ship Age first of the four ages of mist so also I was smart enough beforehand to make a rudimentary copy of the map that was found in the stone ship journal of the bird's eye view of the stone ship age though my drawing looks nothing like the impressive illustration of the map in that journal but anyway, so we now have access to the Stone Ship Age, and there's no title on the front of it, though it bears some similar resemblance to the Mist Book. And here we are presented with the Gateway Image, giving us our first real glimpse of the Stone Ship Age, which we can have a look at in full. This, of course, is a panorama of Stone Ship. It's not unpleasant, it's actually got quite nice weather here. But enough sightseeing, let us enter the Stone Ship Age. <laughs> We have left Mist Island behind us, and ahead of us lies the Stone Ship Age. Completely different from this, isn't it? Uh, the book appears to have brought us on the ship that Atreus apparently, I suppose, wrote into the world through the Stone Ship book. Though it's, for reasons unknown, obviously um, fused itself to the rock island somehow. A mystery to which even Atreus doesn't know the answer to. And the ship appears to be waterlogged. Let's see if we can explore the chamber just ahead. Nope, it appears to be flooded with water as well. Um, there's the stairs that lead over to the front of the boat, which is here. And this opposing chamber appears to once again be completely flooded with water. Maybe the lighthouse will give us some answers. Or it could be flooded as well, although we do have a key that's completely useless to us now and the door leading up into the lighthouse is locked for the padlock so we're let's see if we can explore this thing is. It appears to be some sort of mechanism or rather some kind of made some kind of sound. It sounds probably like a pump of sorts. There are three switches. Um, let's actually try the first one and see if... Well, it doesn't seem to have filtered out that water. Though this passageway is now available to us, waterlogged as it is. So we have a door that we can go into and descend to the bottom of the ship, which is fairly dark. Um, it doesn't appear to be any kind of illumination here, so let's head back upstairs. Out back into the surface. 
So the ship is well, relatively useless at the moment until we find some kind of power. So let's try the second pump and see if we can find anything to kind of illuminate our surroundings. And curiously, although I'm glad there's absolutely no rain here at the moment, which is good, um, there doesn't appear to be any sign of the inhabitants of this age that Atris wrote about in the Stone Ship Journal. Did they disappear? Did they move somewhere else? Who knows? But now, this passageway is now free of water, so let's head down. And it's dark. And it's completely dark. We can't really see two feet in front of our face at the moment. Nope, still dark. Nope, there's a appears to be a small light. Doesn't seem to be illuminating much though, but let's push it and see where it leads. It appears to be um, some kind of master bedroom of sorts. Very regal in its aesthetic. With very fine fabrics and whatnot. It seems to be made of some kind of fabric. Very nice paintings and illustrations and things like that. I wonder what this globe's for. desk over here that we can have a look into. It appears to have a knife and what appears to be some sort of... appears to be a needle and some pills and some kind of drug or chemical or something. It's a very curious thing to have in the desk room. Let's see what's in this chest of drawers. Appears to be coins of gold and silver, although the markings on these coins are unfamiliar to me. What's in the other one? Diamonds. Well, not necessarily diamonds. Jewels and a necklace of some kind. Appears to be some kind of silverware. Of sorts. Some more fabrics and a curious moon with a kind of what appears to be a dagger on a black fabric of some kind. It's um, nothing in this drawer. And in the final drawer is what appears to be a red page. Now why would a red page be from the red book on mist be in the stone chip age and why would it be in this room of all things? I wonder if it was a room this is. It's got some very interesting crests on the door. But we have a red page now so I guess the next thing to do is try and find a way to Return to mist, if that's even possible, and into the void of darkness where we can't see three nano feet in front of us and the dripping of water. Oh, there's we can see the stairs now, faint as they are. Now we're back on the surface again. Um, there was another chamber down this way, it's fairly similar and equally dark and dismal. 
and there's another button for door two. Now this room is appears to be the complete antithesis of the room we were previously in. Some weird macabre antlers and what appears to be some sort of lantern made out of a ribcage of some kind and some chemicals here with a skull and crossbones, possibly poison of some kind. We've got some weird tribal masks. This place is completely desolate. There's a worn bed over here and a blue page. Um, I don't think I want to take the blue page at the moment, seeing how it's on. They're certainly colourful, but they're somewhat foreboding. There appears to be some sort of mechanism on top of this chest of drawers, so let's see what it does. It appears to be a, a rose of some kind, and a slide thing that moves the image. And transforms the rose into a skull. So I take it that this is a theme of life and maybe death or something. The Grim Reaper. Anyway, let's turn that off. We'll switch that back. And we'll examine the disc drawers in this room. Appears to be a map of some kind, although I have absolutely no idea what it represents. Is Another map. Um, who appears to own this particular room seems to be a collective of maps at least. Although I have no idea of where these maps even are, what they are, and so on and so forth.
both complete opposites of one another. So why would the pages be here in the stone ship age of all things? That is a mystery that, as always, we shall have to solve. So don't worry about me, I'm just killing time as I write this down. I'll hold on to the red page now, but I'll probably come back for the blue page at a later date. So now, let's head back up to the surface. So we have a red page and a blue page, and... Well, we've made some headway into the stone ship page, so... When we return, um... I think I'm going to try exploring the lighthouse at some point, if that's possible. Until next we meet, adventurers.